Okay, I'm going to show you how to access the topo maps from the Global Mapper Index. So what you want to do is you want to open data files, and I'm going to go to the USGS or the topo index, whatever index that I need to pull in, and in this case it's going to be the historic topo maps. I'm going to open that up. Now, I could certainly just zoom into an area if I you know kind of know which map it is I could also do a search and search by name and then choose a um, map name and type it in the text and then just go to it double click on it highlight it and double click on it and it will show this it will zoom to it, the topo and it will show a red dot so let's say this is the map I'm interested in now there's two ways of downloading the file one is to click on it using this icon right here, the identify, and this is if you just want to download, you know, just one single quad, um, this tool would be the best to use. But what happens is this link attribute handling comes up, and you want to make sure it says display feature information dialog, and you can also check this, um, and it will use that same type until you change your tool like to the digitizer and just hit OK. And so now when I, I click on this and this is a left click this is a normal mouse click left click if I click on this I see the attributes but I only see 1944 but if I right click on it it will toggle through you can see now it says 1952 1952 1952 until you get to there's 76. Now let's say that I want the 1944 map. The next step is to highlight this right here, this hyperlink. And this is only applicable if you're using this uh, identify tool and doing them one by one. Highlight the hyperlink uh, link right here. Just click on it. Just, that's just a normal click. And then uh, right click. And then you want to say download file from URL and load as new layer. And what that's going to, next thing it's going to do is prompt you where to save it. And of course, if you have a lot of these maps, it may be a good idea to save, you know, in a directory and just keep them there. And then you can just load up those maps. You are already download them. You could just load them up and you won't have to go through this exercise of downloading the maps. But, so what it's going to do is it's going to make a call out to the um, web server and then pull in the historic USGS map. And once that's done, it will load it in. And it's take a little bit long time. And there's the topo map. So that's the way you could do it one by one and then just choosing, you know, which map you want you want uh, for that if there's especially if there's multiple versions of that map. Again, the process is is you go to the map, you click on the identify tool, and under this, and then if then you would right click, and that will toggle the screen to show the different versions of the map, and then you just simply highlight with the left click, the hyperlink, right click again, and say download from file from URL and load as new layer. That's how you do those ones onesie twosies or one one by one maps. Now, if you wanted a, a series of maps, let's say you wanted this, everything that falls within this area right here, you simply just select the digitizer tool, that's the pencil tool, and you would just draw a box by holding down your left mouse button, draw a box so it selects those features, and then right click, and then under attribute style functions, you want to load local web files from an attribute of selected features. And then what it's saying here is it's saying wh where is the attribute within the table that shows where the path is to download and that's always going to be hyperlink. So what you want to do is change that to hyperlink and hit OK. It's going to prompt you where to save them and then uh, and then it'll load the files in the global mapper. Now I'm not going to do that because there could be multiple quads and this could take a while to do. Now one one advantage to doing it this way is that you can download you know entire areas. You can select areas as much as you want and download those files. That's the advantage to that. The disadvantage to that is that 
you don't have the option really it's going to download all the files all the versions of the topo maps for that area so that could be good or bad depending upon you know what you think so that's the two ways to do it one is the identify tool and display feature information dialog click on that right click download file from URLs new layer or if you want a different version you would display the feature information and then you right click and you right click and it's going to show the different versions now make sure that box is checked right right there when that comes up so again when this comes up it says display feature check this otherwise it's going to keep asking that even if you right click after you highlight it so hit OK and then right click and it's going to show you the different versions as you can see to the left 1952, 1952, 1952, 1956, 1976, 1977, etc. Again, if you want multiple areas, you would highlight those quads that you need, and you would right click, and under attribute style functions, you'd say um, load local web files from attribute of selected features and choose hyperlink and hit OK it will prompt you where to save the files and hit OK and then it will start downloading them and they'll load right in the global mapper so that's the two ways you could do it by just pulling in you know the the quad index now another way you can do this then this is what you want it to do with the uh, with your polygon feature so I'm gonna actually close this historic map here I don't need that anymore and I'm gonna load in the the uh, file that you gave me which was the lake file I think it's this one and I'm gonna go ahead and and here's the Oklahoma water bound bodies if I highlight that layer again I just went to the layer control center highlight that layer right click and I'm gonna zoom to those selected areas now here's how you want to do it to where you you would select this poly this lake polygon and then it would select all the quads that touch that polygon instead of you manually you know selecting one hold down the control key select another one hold down the control key etc 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 now this is the easiest way to do this so what you want to do is you want to go into your overlay control center okay let's go ahead and hide this index for now we're going to turn that off then what you do is you take your digitizer tool which is the pencil you're gonna draw a window around it by holding down the left mouse key now you can see the entire lake is selected you can see the vertices now turn back on that layer right click under advanced selection options choose select all features enclosed within the selected area all area features enclosed within the selected area choose any overlap with the, a selected area allowed hit OK and that's gonna select just those quads that you need and then you wanna right click and then under um, again under uh, attribute style functions load local web files and choose hyperlink and then hit OK and again global mapper is gonna prompt you where to save the files and then you would hit OK and then we'll load those files in. So that's how you could select a, pull in a, a, a water boundary. You select the water boundary and then select, and then using the advanced selection option, it would select all of those topo maps that touch that water boundary and then you can load those files in the global mapper.